So hey there guys, <coughs> uh, this is ATH Shadow Angel here as always, um, bringing you uh, I suppose a kind of uh, review thing, uh, now of course it's the, uh, everyone's favourite I'm sure, <laughs> uh, the Centurions. Uh, now I understand that there's a, a lot of a very divided opinion on these. Uh, you know, since they were first uh, leaked picture-wise and everything else, it's been... I've heard some of the bizarrest things. But, personally, I, th I think they're quite cool. That's why I have them. Uh, and I thought I'd bring them for you today. Um, now, I was going to do an unboxing on these, uh, but I kind of got carried away and... I just want you know, I wanted to see what they looked like built and... Uh, you know that kind of, and just get, get on with the kind of thing um, and so here they are here are the three guys that you get so uh, obviously you've got your sergeant in the middle and two uh, standard centurions or two squad members I should say um, first thing I can say about the kit is the kit is really nice it is a really nice uh, well put together kit uh, there's a few Small, I suppose, fiddly bits, but that could be down to the first because it's the first time I'm building them. Uh, but really, really nice. Um, so let me just move these two out of the way, and I'll show you on the sergeant. So, sergeant, uh, I wanted my sergeant to be uh, walking on on the move, so he's kind of got that presence of pointing out targets to the to the other squad members to then. Of it there for them to then move up and hunker down and then support fire. Um, so, just to have a quick look around the back, uh, the legs come in various different uh, forms. Like, there's one uh, with two straight legs, which has everything pretty much pre done for it. Uh, this one, uh, the leg, the marine leg on the inside. Uh, it had to attach, so it had the bend in it uh, with all the gears and uh, pistons. Sorry, not gears uh, and everything else. And the thing I thought I, you know, I loved all this mechanical work to show um, kind of what it takes to get these things to get to move, <laughs> um, and also give some that added support systems and stuff like that within them. So, as you can see, I've gone with the uh, Grav Cannon and uh, the uh, Grav Amplifier. Uh, just because the rules for them are, are very, very cool. Uh, I also wanted to go with the um, with this, the uh, crest on the top, uh, just because it's quite... Uh, it's because I wanted to pick out the sergeant and make him look uh, really cool within the army and make him look like obviously the first to wear the brand new suit of armour uh, with the sergeant decals and title. Uh, for anyone who's interested, this, this crest bit comes separate, uh, so you don't have to have this uh, for your sergeant, so you can have all of them with the standard uh, centurion helmet. Uh, the shoulder pads really nice with a uh, unique decal um, engraving on it. Uh, a word of the pipes, uh, some of them come in uh, two bits so that you get the bends right and everything. Some do come in single, uh, well I think one set comes in two uh, single pipes and stuff but yeah I just can't get over how not, how much these cool, these things are cool um, I went with the hurricane bolters in the centre on the chest uh, just because I wanted to give it a bit more uh, the firepower because from what I can tell the missiles that you can put in here aren't twin linked um, so I wanted something that uh, if obviously these if the grab cannon doesn't go, then I have something else to uh, kind of back up with. 
Excuse me. <sighs> right. Uh, the second one. Uh, he stood slightly at an angle with the leg, uh, as you can tell with the legs. So they all come with their own her bits of heraldry and stuff on the on the legs and things like that. Now, one thing that I that I loved when I first did when I first saw these was the helmet. I really loved the more beefed out, bulkier helmet, uh, which. I suppose in a way it looks like a Terminator helmet with the nose cut off and then replaced with the uh, the always famous open uh, mouth grill of the uh, Space Marines. A bit more on the heraldry. I mean, for anyone uh, looking to uh, obviously do something, make them look a bit different, I mean, they do look quite cool without the shoulder pads on. Because the, obviously you can see the big pistons on the top, which connects to the top of the arms. Uh, but it does look quite cool. Uh, which I may, if I do a second squad or something, then I might uh, see about leaving the, pad, the shoulder pads off. Just to leave that bit more exposed. Uh, to show off some of the bits of detail which are underneath. Uh, so, I mean, the grav cannons do look something pretty, as well as all the grav weapons, which you'll see when I do the uh, stern guard and tactical boxes. Uh, but I love this whole kind of wind up gear bits in here, and also on the grav amp as well. In there. Um, so, yeah, it's. Uh, Finally, uh, the one I wanted to do kind of more in a intimidating pose, and also scanning for his target. And so there you go. So the one thing I've or I loved was this these absolutely beautiful looking uh, chest plates. Um, you know, with the skulls or the eagle, or uh, this one has uh, the chains running across either side. But yeah, they just some. I, I mean, personally, I can't see what's wrong with these. I really can't. Uh, really nice bit of kit. Um, and they're not as big as I thought they were going to be, because uh, when these were first pictured, it really didn't look like they were stuck on uh, dreadnought bases, and you know they were. I thought they were going to be very uh, sort of out of proportion, kind of thing. Uh, but looking at them, they're on a base which is somewhere in between, or just a bit bigger than the Terminator base. But yeah, there so there you go guys. Uh there you go. Um so yeah, final bits. Um obviously like I say I understand that they're not everyone's uh cup of tea in terms of models. Um but it's when you when I hear things like uh oh, they're the ugliest models they've you know that's ever you know ever been. I don't think they are. I think that's very over overstated. Um, but yeah, but like I say, I really like these, and I can't wait to stick them in um, red, red armor because these are going into my Blood Angel army. Because I really don't care. <laughs> um, I want these as um, I'm looking at doing them as a, a veteran. Uh, Devastator Squad within the Devastator Company, which I can't at the moment, moment remember which one. I think it's either, um, I think it might be seventh, seventh or ninth. I know it's one of those two, um, which I'll figure out obviously when I come to do all the decals and heraldry and stuff. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, a bit of a closer look at the Centurions. Uh, and I'll do more on these as they get painted and everything else. Uh, so as always, drop me a comment down below in the comment section. 
uh, which I'll always read and I'll always try and get back in touch with or I'll try and answer it uh, as best as I can uh, or there'll be a link somewhere in the descriptions box uh, to drop your link over to the Facebook page where you can keep all up to date with everything I'm working on uh, ask us questions and everything else um, so yeah there you go guys uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching <coughs> and thank you very much for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time guys